Let's recompute the joint count statistic with this spatial pattern. Here again, we are going to look to see if now this spatial pattern is, has, shows evidence of clustering. First of all, we are just going to state the null and alternative hypotheses. These are the same that we used before, since the alternative is that the pattern is clustered. Again, this is going to be a left-tailed test. In this case, the numbers of black and white cells have changed. It's now even between black and white, before we had seven and nine. Everything else stays the same uh, in terms of N and J and L and sum of L. What we do see is a different number of observed black-white joins. Now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six joins. Recall in the other example, we had 11. So the number of black-white joins has become smaller, which intuitively is going to push the test statistic further to the left. We need to calculate uh, the expected number of black-white joins. So we just plug in. Everything's the same, but now we have 8 and 8. And we see the expected number is 12.8. So the expected number has gone up from the previous example when we had 7 and 9 in here. And remember what I said, that when the distribution of black and whites is more even, so here it's perfectly even, we're going to have a larger expected number of black-white joins if the data were random. So before we had 12.3 in the case when black and white was 7.9, so the expected has gone up from that. We can recompute everything here using the new black and white, uh, new values of black and white to find that the standard error is now 2.32. And when we compute the statistic, we have the observed 6 minus 12.8 over 2.32. The statistic is now minus 2.93, which has a p-score, a p-value of 0.001 p is less than alpha, and therefore we reject the null hypothesis that the pattern is random in favor of the alternative hypothesis that the patterns of influenza exhibit a clustered, uh, a clustered map pattern. So in this case, we had a z-score way out over here at minus 2.93, and the area that was more extreme than this z-score so the area in here was just equal to 0 0.0017. And of course, we had a critical value over here, and the area to the left of the critical value was 10%, or 0 0.1. So of course, we have p less than alpha, and we have to reject the null.